YouTube, what's up? I'm Daniel and I like shoes. I picked this shoe up the other day off the shelf at Finish Line, my local Finish Line. That's frequently got some good stuff, but it's in a mall, so it gets a lot of traffic. You got to get there really early if you want to get anything good right after they, they unpack a truck. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video to you. Um, I got this sold to somebody else, so I wanted to go ahead and get this one out. It's probably not going to be too long of a video. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't get my size. This is a women's exclusive. I think that's why it's in the white and gold box, but it's not a typical Jordan box. We got a bunch of mid boxes here, three box, and I think that's it. Um, but it's not a typical one low box either. It's not an OG, uh, which we're going to talk a little bit more about later uh, later this week. I'll record the video this week. You'll probably get it either this weekend or next week. Um, but this is not your typical one low box. It's not your typical one low shoe either. So this is the Women's Air Jordan 1 Low White Wolf Gray Aluminum. Take a look at that. I saw these somewhere, I don't know where, not too long ago online, and they look pretty good. I'm going to call this the Poor Man's Dior 1 Low, and you'll see why in just a second. It's not my size. It's women's exclusive, which only goes up to... 12 women, so it's 10 and a half men. I could probably wear a 10 and a half. I'd probably try if uh, if they had it, but this was the biggest size. Unfortunately, it's not uh, my wife or daughter's size. But here it is. This is the White Wolf Gray. This is a decent new buck here. Probably very similar new buck. Maybe not quite as hairy, but a similar new buck to the UNC one. And it's a nice gray color. Uh, looks like the laces are kind of off-white. This is very micro-textured, micro-tumbled, I guess you might say. There's a little bit of texture to it, but not a whole lot. It's not that soft. Nylon uh, tongue is nice. Insole is okay. Let's see if we can get the, the or that's the, the sock liner. We can get, see if we can get the insole out. Seems like it might actually be a decent insole, uh, but I'm not sure be pretty cool if it was. If it was, if this is a decent insole, I would probably try to find this for myself. Um, in the meantime, let's, let's look at the bottom. This is just something I really like about, uh, about Jordans and Dunks when they got this gummy looking outsole that's different. It's like a light blue. This is like the outsole of the Dior. This would be very Dior looking if it just had an oversized swoosh with some Dior in it. I think that's really the major difference between this and, and the Dior, which goes for a whole lot. Um, but these are pretty hard to find. I don't think they've officially released yet. But of course, like ones, they just start dropping at stores here and there. So it's a pretty nice shoe. And I think it'll look good on my wife, but it's not the right color. Or the right size, I'm sorry. So uh, this one's got to go. Might come across another one that she can wear. Would you wear this? Yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just the Jumpman and the 23 on the tongue. Embossed Jordan Wings logo on the back. Took another moment to try to get the insole out to see if it was any different. It's glued down really good, unusually good. I don't want to rip it, uh, but I got the side up and it's just a normal Jordan 1 insole. There's nothing special about this one. It's got just a little bit different of a material covering it, but it's the same insole. The, the, that material that's covering it, the rough textured material, is maybe a little bit better than uh, what's on some Jordan 1s, but it's still just the crap insole. So there's no reason to, to go trying to get it out to show you because not, there's nothing that's great, that great about it. So like I said, this is the Dior Wannabe Dior KO, let's call it like the Jordan 1 KO that just came out recently that I didn't know. The KO actually stands for knockoff of the Jordan 1, and they still sold out. I mean, they're made by Jordan, but they still sold out, and they still sell for crazy, I mean, not, I mean, not, not anything terribly ridiculous, but a whole lot more than retail. So this is the Jordan 1 Dior KO, and women's exclusive. And it looks pretty good. If I can find this in my size or 10 and a half, I'll at least try to wear it and see how, how comfortable it is. And if it fits, I'll keep it. 
Uh, this is an extra video this week, not one I had planned to do, but I found this one, so I picked it up. And your next two videos are coming shortly. Next two videos I'm going to record shortly. You'll probably see this one before the ones I recorded before. We got one coming out on Monday at noon, and another one Wednesday, I think at noon also. I'll go ahead and stick this one in there because it's short and sweet. And then get ready for some more low, Jordan 1 low videos with several lows. And the Nike SB Dunk that you didn't know you had to have. Because that one has arrived. I just got to make the video and it is nice. Don't forget, subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell. 500 subscribers. I'm up to 80 something now. I got like three or four yesterday. So we're moving up. Slowly, but surely, share it with your friends. Let's get 500 subscribers, and we'll do a shoe giveaway, and you'll have a really good chance of getting a shoe. Um, that's it. Nike, Jordan Air, Jordan 1, low, white, wolf gray, and some aluminum, too. See you next time.